A new fun-filled season of MTV's global sensation, X on the Beach, is back. And I have two of the stars with me, David Barta and Arise Wanzer. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Arise, I'm going to start off with you. Tell us about the series. Oh, uh, well, it's a series where you don't really know what you're getting yourself into, but you know that your exes may be coming, uh, but you don't know which ones. And so if you date it around a lot, you're in for a lot of surprises. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> David, tell us about your experience on the show. Oh, God. I mean, I'll say this much without giving away a lot. I left that experience completely physically, mentally, and emotionally drained. Like, in a lot of ways, it was a great experience, but also in a lot of ways, I was like, oh my God, I can't wait to get home and like fix some of the, the things for my real life that I just messed up here. But I also had some really good things, but you have to see. <laughs> Aris, let me ask you this. Now, you, you're also the host of LA Pride and you're also an active influencer on Instagram and TikTok. How, how's all this coming at you? How are you, how are you handling all this? Uh, it's weird because it's out of your control. Like when you're doing influencing stuff and when you're on stage, you're controlling what your narrative is and how you're being portrayed and perceived. Whereas when you have cameras on you 24 seven, even when you're sleeping, um, you're mic'd the entire time, you're going to see the real you. <laughs> So it's <laughs> very different than what you think you're going to see, especially in the promos. I'm like, Ugh, I don't love that. <laughs> wow. But the real you does come out. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, is it? No, no, I know her. <laughs> but, <laughs> but is that who I want the world to buy? I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, understood. Understood. David, now, you were on Loyola, Marymount's University's base, your baseball store. You're also a TikTok influencer with over 1 million viewers. Tell me, what's going on there? I mean, how do you feel about that? Uh, you know, with, with a lot of things that I come to term with publicly on the show, as I did right before in my personal life, I've definitely, I definitely got a, a lot of support late, lately, but also a lot of heat behind the scenes for, you know, truths about my personal life truths about my sexuality that i've kind of terms to that you'll be able to see on x in the beach but i'm doing okay uh one of my best friends who helped me with my whole journey i'm gonna leave it that way uh is at home so i'm, I'm kind of i'm in, in some ways struggling a little bit but i have really good friends like i have a reese i have friends like mike and you know our, our other mutual friends here back home to back me so uh, i'm a little nervous for the premiere but um but I'm excited for it. You know, David, I just thought about that when you said you have a Reese there, and, and, and I have to agree with you. Uh, you know, going through going through what she's gone through and being who she is, she has to provide you with a lot of strength and a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Reese is definitely a very realized, mature, and beautiful, strong foundation of a woman. I'm, I'm very happy to you know be able to communicate with her. You'll be able to see on X and the Beach whether, you know, we love each other the whole time or if she's scheming after me or hating me at some point. But now she's she's a phenomenal friend in, in person, no matter who you are. Oh, my God. I feel like I'm not here. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Reese, be, besides X on the Beach, what else? What are your new projects? What else are you involved in? Uh, I'm actually going to be hosting WeHo Pride um, coming in June. I have a Netflix event I'm hosting next month. Um, and this is big comedy show that Netflix is doing. And I just wrapped on being a special guest star on the show Send Help from AMC's um, new app called All Black. And it's their new streaming service. Wow, that sounds cool. What about you, David? What's what you got going on? I have a couple of projects in the works right now that I'm waiting and kind of training to hear back from. I just got, actually just got back from South Korea from filming an international commercial. I've done a couple other commercials since coming back from X in the Beach, but more of my, my baby, what I love and what I care about. Uh, I'm a full-time personal trainer here out in Beverly Hills. I'm working on an interactive online training platform that's going to be really high quality, 
really easy to follow and I'm going to make it, you know, you know, very economical just so I can service and help as many people as I can. So those are kind of the, the three main projects that I've been working on since X on the Beach. Sounds cool. Arise, David, thank you so much for joining us on Morning Blend and talking about X on the Beach, which is MTV's new global sensation. Uh, hats off to both you. Arise, hats off to you. I actually give you that uh, uh, Wanda salute from Black Panther. And David, uh, I'm jealous because women are not looking at me. They're looking at you. But that's okay. Oh, no, they're looking at you. <laughs> 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 Arise, we know better. But anyway, thanks again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>